Okay, welcome uh, for another excitement um, program. Uh, this is uh, the issue of safety and health on site. Okay, uh, today we are looking at um, the safety signs. Remember last time we talked about the personal protective equipment and we talked about a lot of things. I, I remember we even mentioned uh, the issue of hazards where we said <coughs> when you go on site, isn't it? You need to first to identify um, uh, some hazards of which we said hazard these are things that can bring, uh, bring about uh, um, accidents death injuries and other issues okay now in this situation now we need also to concentrate on the issue of safety signs safety what signs now in our workplaces <laughs> In our workplaces, there are so many things that we need to consider. Things that we need to consider is to understand the sign. I think we have seen a lot of signs in the, along the roads, or maybe on the workplace and other areas. Now, if I ask the question, what is a sign? How can you explain about the sign? What? A sign is an indicator of something. A sign is an indicator of something. Okay? Maybe showing. It might be a symbol. It might be a symbol. Or a character. Or a character. So whatever you see uh, signifying something or showing something is a what? Is a sign. So therefore, in health and safety, we have four, four types of signs. In short, signs, signs, uh, safety signs are divided into four categories. Okay, now these signs can be used either in plumbing, either in electrical, either in construction, or whatever area. On road can be used. Even at home, these signs can be what can be used wherever you are. Okay, the signs can be applied. Therefore, among the four. Um, we have uh, number one, the mandatory sign. Okay, number one, we have a mandatory sign. Number two, we have prohibition sign. Number three, we have a warning sign. Then apart from the warning sign, then we have the information sign. Some people, they, they call it informative sign. Now, when we look at these signs, what are the purpose of the signs? We are saying... Safety signs are designed to keep visitors and also workers safe. That is a brief or a short explanation. Safety signs are designed to keep visitors and the workers safe. Now, why talking about visitors? We normally receive visitors passing in the, the working place or maybe on site, isn't it? So these visitors who are coming to the site, they need to they need to be actually protected. How are we going to protect them is by maybe displaying a sign somewhere or maybe a symbol somewhere. I can give you an example of the helmet. Okay, uh, if you put uh, the helmet on the display, okay, then they will see that they will know that this sign it is telling us. When you entering this site, we need to do what to put on what the, the, the helmet. Also, maybe you can see the gloves on the display. These gloves actually will show that um, everyone is mandated to put on the what the gloves, especially those workers who are doing the works, who are doing different types of works you know, on site or maybe on the, the workshop. Maybe you can see they are putting uh, they, are, they, they are displaying. Um, uh, maybe the safety boots or whatever. These are actually showing what is actually happening on the on the site. Okay. Now, the safety signs also give more information. This information can be positive or can be what negative. That's the reason why. We know that, we, we understand that the signs are divided into four categories. Then, there are some signs that can be just displayed to show 
the fire. Okay, I think in even in our, uh, work, our working places, our offices will see fire extinguishers displayed, isn't it? The fire extinguisher displayed. Now, when you check the fire extinguisher, you find that there are some labels there which will indicate or give more information about the type of fire extinguisher. Because it depends on the fire that you actually, uh, which will actually come. Now, we need also to understand what type of fire extinguisher will be, used, will be used in that particular time. Okay, now let's tr try to look at these uh, four signs. Sign number one. Sign number one is described in this way. We're talking about the mandatory sign. Mandatory sign, it is a sign in the uh, circular shape, okay? It is in the circular shape with the white symbol on the blue background, okay? Circular symbol and a circular shape and also white symbol on the blue color background okay so now when you look at this it is show, the moment the, the moment you see the color blue and the white symbol it is uh, telling you that this is mandatory you should not run away from it meaning that it is a must to comply to that particular guideline okay i think i will give the example of the ailment so the helmet, it is displayed on the blue background, background color. And the, the, the symbol, it is not in red, but it is not in white color. That is mandatory. So in short, we are saying mandatory is a must. Everyone, whether is a, is a president, is an engineer in, in different angles, different levels, it is a must that that person has to comply comply to that guideline okay we can also give an example maybe it's not about the helmet maybe the gloves maybe the the full kit and maybe the full ppe personal protective equipment or maybe uh the footwear which means maybe we're talking about the safety boots yeah such things maybe it's a knee pad okay we know sometimes these people who are working on uh, different works or different jobs or different levels. Some people they like kneeling. Okay? They like doing what? Kneeling. So there's need of putting on the what? The knee pad. Okay? Even the elbow pad. Maybe you are you are you know crawling, eh? So you need to protect your what? Your elbow. Okay? Or maybe it's a mask, mouth bag. Or maybe it's the eye plug. Or maybe just uh, something that is protecting the face, face mask. Or maybe it's about the what? The goggles. Whatever symbol you see on the blue background, it is showing that uh, it is a what? It is a must. That is uh, mandatory. Okay, now we move on to next one, which is prohibition or prohibitive. This sign is actually also a secular and show black symbol. Look, blue background, it is mandatory, isn't it? Yes. Here is a white background, but with, with a black symbol. Now, we will find there is a crossbar. There is a what? A bar crossing end to end, crossing the, the circular part. Meaning that uh, um, it is prohibition. Well, the moment they put a cross or a bar, they are actually breaking, uh, breaking the way. You should not pass, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. So now, in this situation, you can see a symbol in black color, and maybe this symbol can be a, a, a cigarette, okay? A cigarette with a sign of uh, what a smoke like, okay? It might be a phone, okay? A phone is there, meaning that it is prohibited to use or to smoke on public. Or maybe where? In the bus. Or maybe where? In the workshop. Maybe in the cloud, where there are a lot of people. Should not smoke. Maybe you see uh, there's a symbol of a phone. 
They are telling us to say, you should not use a phone. Let me just give example on the feeding station. At the feeding station, you, you, you may sometimes, many of the time, people ignore these kind of symbols. Eh? Yeah, on the, on the, at the feeding station, you see there's a, a display of symbols there, or signs there. You see, don't use a phone. Or switch on, or switch off the what? The phone. But this is a situation where, even if they are saying switch off the phone, people continue using what? The phone. This time there is an issue of you are, you, you, you are at the feeding station. Then the driver say, please, we want to, to fill the, the tank. Okay? You have to fill the fuel in the tank. But uh, uh, the people on the bus start complaining. Say, no, no, we are just troubling us. And yet it is what? It is, it, is, it is an issue where each and every person need to watch to consider, to consider. So if you see any symbol, red border, circular, isn't it? Yes. Red border, circular form, and also a black symbol on the white background. It is a prohibition. Okay? Now, this one actually shows what is not allowed. I gave an example of no smoking. Don't do this, don't do this. It is a symbol that actually come with don't, do not, don't, do not. Okay? Yes. So it is different to uh, mandatory. So mandatory is a must. But uh, prohibition is it's not a, a, a must. Someone can comply, someone cannot compli comply. But the consequences will come at the end of the day. Okay? Now, we move to the next... Um, the next uh, sign, which is the warning sign. The warning sign also, it is uh, another important sign. You find that this sign is uh, designed in the triangular form, triangle. Okay? In the triangular form, with uh, a black border. Okay? With a black border. You see a triangle with a black what? Border. And with a... Uh, a black symbol on the yellow background on the yellow what? background so if you see the triangle uh, the background is yellow but on the background is what? a black symbol isn't it? and also the border is what? black it is telling you that it is a warning it is a, so it is a must that someone everyone needed to comply to this now here what they are saying, show potential danger. This dangerous sign, it is actually a warning sign, it is showing the, the danger. Let me give you an example. You see on the uh, electrical wire fence, electrical wire fence, they put a triangle there, then there's a skeleton. What comes in your mind? That's a warning sign. They are warning you, don't touch. Here's a situation you find maybe on the on the grill door or maybe on the gate. On the gate there's a triangle and also there is a a dog. Okay, the dog in the triangle on the yellow background. What is the the, 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 the instance of that? So about warning. They are telling you that inside they are what? They are dogs. Okay? They are dogs. And there are so many, so many, so many, so many uh uh, signs that are in the triangle, in the triangle form. The moment you see the triangle, the background is yellow, the symbol is black, and the border is black. They are telling you that uh, this is a what? A warning. And you find the fan, you find the skeleton, you find the uh, electrical shock, a sign of electrical shock, isn't it? Yeah, you find also uh, something like uh, X to show that you should not do this. It is a warning. It's a warning. Yeah, either situation sometimes. <coughs> There are some chemicals that we should normally use in our workplaces. Like I can give example of plumbers who normally deal, deal with um, uh, glue. Okay? So on the glue, there's a symbol. I, I think you can give me a glue there. You can open that one. You can give me a big, that, the, yeah, that long. Oh, yes. Just to pull it. You see the blue tin there. There's a blue tin there. Okay. Can give it to me okay 
Yeah, unfortunately, uh, this blue, uh, it is a blue. Now, although it is counted blue, this color, it is actually uh, showing that blue is a, is a mandatory, right? It's a mandatory, meaning that when you come to other maybe uh, areas, water, it's showing water. Okay? Now, there are some tins, like this one is not even specifying. There are some tins where you can see the symbol somewhere to show uh, this kind of what? Signs, a warning sign. Maybe there's a flame of food to show the flame of fire. So meaning that you should not use what? You should not use it near the fire. Isn't it? I saw a perfume. This perfume which we normally apply. It was also, it had also the symbol. The fire symbol. To show that you cannot apply near what? Near fire. Near fire. What happened? <laughs> it will blow up. And you find yourself in a, a disaster. That is very dangerous. So this is a warning sign. So the warning sign, it actually show a lot of things, maybe flammable. I think you can see even in, on the track, the tanker that actually uh, carrying maybe carrying fuel, gas, carrying acid. You can see such things. Eh? So you can check and you see that, oh, this track is carrying this. They even write danger. If they are not even writing the word danger, they can just put a, word, a symbol there. So a learned person is able to understand or know that, oh, this is a uh, dangerous uh, uh, product in this uh, container. Okay? Now, now, can you imagine maybe you find food you buy from, maybe uh, you know, somewhere in the shop or maybe in the market, then the food is eaten danger. Are you going to eat? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so you can't. You can't. So that's why, you remember last time we said it, uh, to those people who are not learned, those people don't have any idea about safety. They see things normal. Okay, you remember I said to identify the hazard, how are going to identify hazard? Uh, you, you see people, yourself, you know, ah, this, this cable is naked and it's dangerous, or this part, there are too, too much oil, and maybe it might be someone can slide and die and fall. So such, but some um, people can say, ah, no, it's normal. These are the people you can advise as the safety manager, safety officer on site that you. If you see things like this, this is very dangerous. Okay? Now, the other part, the last part on the site, um, uh, safety side, is the informative side. Information. So, the informative side actually is uh, a sign in the square or rectangular shape. Square or rectangular what? Shape. Now, you find that this sign, it shows the white symbol on the green background. So colors are the most important part of colors. So you should know the colors. The moment you know the colors, then everything will be, what? Will be okay. So now, uh, this sign actually just gives the information, information, positive information. Okay, directive to say, okay, there's uh, something happening here. I can give example of uh, the Red Cross. Okay, we can, we can have maybe, um, um, a sign in the red cross, in the red cross, or maybe in the white what cross. So if you see the symbol in the right in the red cross, what comes in your mind? It is square or rectangle, but the cross is what right on the white background. What comes in your mind? As long as it is on the white what background, remember on the white background we talked about uh, prohibition prohibition okay and again you talked about the uh, on the warning sign okay which is triangle now these signs it actually give the direction to say okay there's something happening now so if it is in the red color they are telling you it's the danger or warning or maybe it's an hazard now if it is in the or in the green the green background the white symbol in the uh, rectangle or maybe on the oblique or maybe we say square that one is just giving me clear information we can give example you find an arrow on the door or somewhere it is written if it, it is also even written exit exit mind you on the exit there's someone maybe there's a, a picture of 
a human being running, running or walking. Okay? When it is just written exit, they are telling you that it is now time to do what? To go out. Um, there's a, always I, I, I see when I enter, I get the bus, especially these big buses. You see maybe on the window, it is written image, images. I think you have seen it. It is written what? Images or exit. Now, on the window, it's written exit or images. Then on the same, on the same window, you see the hands showing you that you can pull. You need to push. What does it mean on the bus? What are they trying to, to show you or to tell you? In that in a situation where something wrong happens or something bad, you can go out, you can come out of the bus through the window. Through the window. Uh, th th those windows that are not hard, they are very easy to do what? To push and to come out. Now, the situation is that because even the people, those who are entering the bus, they are not sensitized. Okay? They are not sensitized to say, okay, people, now we are getting the bus, we are now starting off. Okay, I think you can check your neighbor, check the belt, check even the signs. If you see this sign, they are telling you this and this and this and never. They don't even teach people about it. This is a situation where maybe if there's a, something, an accident or car on the bus, what is happening? People start running straight to the door. And you find a stampede on the, bu on the bus. Other people start now stepping on other, other people. So there will be a lot of uh, injuries on the bus. Why? Because people on the bus were not what? Sensitized. So it is important as a safety manager or everyone, anyone, is his, his responsibility or her responsibility to ensure that uh, we sensitize people. Okay? If you have an idea on that particular part on that particular area, you need to tell the people the danger, the good, and the other issues concerning health and safety. So the four safety signs are cardinal. Now we can ask me the question to say, ah, but I've seen a lot of signs, a lot of signs, road signs, what and signs, what and what signs, there are so many signs. But even if we have so many signs, all these signs that you are going to see or to find, they are under how many signs? Four signs. Four signs. We have mandatory, we have prohibition, we have warning sign, we have informative what? Signs. Okay. The key here is um, to look at um, the shape, the color, isn't it? Yes. The color, the shape, the symbol. So, by observing...